chamber. It's in Okwebi, Ikeja. They do free training for people who want to do farming business twice in a week. Free training. If you have land and you have the time and you want to do farming business, go to the office in, a, in a, a Keja at Okwebi. You get the training. Sometimes if you, if you are afraid you, you don't know how to go to your farm to do it alone. There are some staff there. They will follow you to your farm and assist you in tilling the soil, planting your crop, harvesting, and even marketing. They will do it for you free. Free! <laughs> but if you don't have the time and you don't have land but you have some money so that one that if you have time you have land and you just go for training and then you go and do your planting and harvesting and marketing that is called active farming you're an active farmer all right the chamber encourages people to farm in order to make more money and bring food on your table. But if you don't have the time and you don't have land and you have money, you can invest in the chamber to do farming for you. That is called passive farming. Passive farming. And if I tell you what you get in six months, if you invest, some of you, you will not believe me. You can start with 20,000, 50, 100,000, 500,000, 1 million, 2 million. There are people who, who have invested 5, 10 million. But let's imagine that you just invest 1 million. In six months, you collect that your principal amount of money and 50% profit. In six months, you collect 1.5 million. Some of you, as I don't talk so, some of you sitting down here, they'll be doing like this. Meanwhile, there are people who have keyed into this program and have been benefiting from it for the past four or five years. Is there any passive farmer here? Any passive farmer here? You know somebody doing it. Okay, you are already doing it. You are already doing it. There are people who are already on that program here. If you tell an average banker, somebody who works in the bank, if you tell him that ah, there's one business, so he says uh, passive farming. If you invest two million in six months, you go collect three million. A banker, he will tell you you are in the crease. If you lose your money, don't come back to me. Oh. Because they don't want you to put your money in that kind of business. They want you to put your money in their banks. That was the time I opened one account with um, <clears throat> uh, what's this bank that uh, matched with uh, Access? Diamond Bank. They had one type of account they called Haida. High interest deposit account. High interest deposit account. So I opened the account. I put some million naira there. Maybe I can't remember now. Three, four, five million. And every month, they were paying me 25,000 naira. My profit. Every month, 25,000. You know about it? Hida. High interest deposit account. Go and find out. Of course, Diamond, well, you know, since they matched with uh, Access, I don't even know whether they are still doing it or not. But me, I've collected my money from the place. 
I've invested it in passive farming. 25,000 naira in a month. How much is that? Uh, in six months. 25,000 naira per month. For six months. How much is that? 150,000 naira. Haida. 150,000 naira. And at that time, I thought I was making so much money. Until I heard about this passive farming. I, eh, I go withdraw my money. Put down for passive farming. I don't want to tell you how much I'm making now. Also, I'm a lecturer. I hope you all know that. I'm a lecturer at the Lagos State University. As a professor, we, we have a cooperative, cooperative society. ASU Cooperative Society. And we have a supermarket inside the campus there. And we also do savings. You know, the normal cooperative savings. They remove some money, small, small money from our account every month. It was the cooperative saving it for us. And then when you have any amount of money you have there, you can borrow double from the cooperative. When you borrow, they will now be deducting, you know, what you have borrowed from your, from your salary. So I had about two point something million there, savings. Well, we do annual general meeting every year. AGM. We do AG you know about cooperative, are you? Are you in Lasso? Are you in Lasso? Okay. So we do AGM every year. And well, you know, they say they give us dividends. I have never collected dividend up to 100,000 naira. I have never. 80 something, 85, 60. Sometimes when you have some uh, executives that are thieves, you get dividend of 40,000 naira. Then all of us will be complaining and shouting. Then they will now give us some gifts. Towel, you know, flask. <laughs> when I heard about passive farming and the chamber, now I am vexed. I go collect my money from, from the uh, cooperative. They tell me, say, uh, what if you uh, collect your money, you know, you cannot now do, uh, I say, I don't do anything again. I'm going to bring my money. So, I put two million in the uh, passive farming. Six months, collect three million. Now I put the three million back. Six months, now I collect 4.5 million. If in that one year, if that my two million still there for the cooperative, now 80,000 I go collect as a dividend and towel, towel. They did got towel and flask and some useless gifts. Well, I'll carry the gift, rich house. My wife will go put the gift, gift for we get one kind of store where they keep things. Look down there. Say flask, plenty for house. My brother and my sister, the Keda Chamber of Commerce, Industry, and Agriculture is just determined through this president to empower people. To empower people. But you have to make up your mind and take action. It was action I took to go and withdraw my money from property. It was action. And today it's paying off for me. You have been invited here to come and listen and understand these different kinds of opportunities. There are different types. I've just told you about the act active and passive farming. The president will tell you about how you can make money from the, from the net, from online, through videos. There is a link, video wealth, that you can make money from. There is also, you know, you also be told about uh, the global matchmaker. You can make money from it. 
There is also the housing program. You can make money. You can get your land, build house. Uh, James Expensive was telling us about the land he sold in Akpo. Abi, me too. I had an experience of the land I sold in Okota. You know, when you want to tell people stories, and you have, uh, you, are, you are, you know, you are telling uh, the story of another person, of another person, sometimes you, it is difficult to believe. But direct story, direct experience. I bought two plots of land in Okota. The Omonile there, they nearly killed me. In fact, it was more than two plots. It was like three or four plots. They collected like two, it was four plots. They collected two plots. Voila, voila, every day. Then, when I, I was building my, my, another house at Satellite Town, I chose Satellite Town because it's close to my last school, you know. All right. So, there was a year I decided that, look, let me sell one of these plots of land. I bought the land, by the way, 350,000 naira, many years ago. The year, I can't remember that year now, that I sold one plot. I sold it for 10 million. Then, the remaining one in 2020, just before COVID started, I just I called my, one of my friends, one of my neighbors who had a land opposite my house in a quarter there, and he had built his, his own. I called him. I said, "I want to sell that land." He said, "Hey, I have somebody. Who, how much?" I said, 20 million. He brought his friend, and I got paid 20 million naira. Land that I bought, 350 thousand. It is not story, story I'm telling you. I mean, it happened to me now. I mean, I'm the one. I'm the one. So, this thing is telling you, was telling you about don't sit down with only one stream of income. It's very valid. Very, very valid. As I did, as I did here now, I'm a lecturer. I'm collecting my salary every month as a professor. Hmm? I'm an actor. When they call me for a film, I see the act. They collect money. I'm a theater director. I'm a film producer. I have bakery. And they do bread. God see you get the chamber. Don't sit down. Take a step. But of course, that step you will take with your mind. Thinking of it that, look, I must move. I must do something about my situation. Everybody get in story. Everybody get in story. If I tell you stories, some of you now will be looking at me. Ah, it's your life you don't. If I tell you my stories, you'll say, hey. Yeah. Don't let anybody pity you. A lot of things. Sorry, you are not my students. I used to tell my students a lot of things in class. I say, all of you now, as you are sitting down here, do you know that there is a future governor here? There can be a future commissioner. There can be a future, there are, there are future millionaires and billionaires here, but you never know. You never know. I tell them, see, all of you are talented, you know, because uh, as a theater lecturer, I tell them, all of you are talented. As a theater person, it's not only acting we teach them. You can be an actor, you can be a dancer, you can be uh, a, tech, a designer, you know, design set and lights and costumes. You can be a media person. There are so many areas you can specialize in. But everybody has his own talent. 
what God has given you to make your life sweeter. But you need to discover that talent, that gift. So, so it is the same thing in business. You need to discover what kind of business can make you make more money. What kind of business am I interested in to increase my earnings? Don't be satisfied. Just sitting down. That's why I'm happy that from the radio program, that so many people, so many of you who, you know, signified intention to come to listen to this, you know, I must make them seminar. And by the special grace of God, you must make them. Yeah.